Misoprostol is a medication that is used in treatment of peptic ulcer disease and in termination of a pregnancy. And here we will talk about its mechanism of action, therapeutic uses, pharmacokinetics, adverse effects, and contraindications. So mysoprostol is a synthetic prostaglandin E1 analog and it works through direct stimulation of a prostaglandin E1 receptors on the stomach parietal cells and this would lead to inhibition of the basal and nocturnal gastric acid secretion. So on this picture here we have the parietal cell and on the parietal cell we have many receptors including the prostaglandin receptors, the muscarinic receptors, the gastrin receptors and the histamine H2 receptors. Now the muscarinic, the gastrin and the histamine H2 all work to increase the cyclic AMP which will end up with increasing the hydrogen secretion into the stomach which will increase the hydrochloric acid levels in the stomach. Now the prostaglandin work the exact opposite to all of these receptors. So it work by decreasing the cyclic AMP and this would lead to decreasing the protein kinases which will decrease the H2CO3 breakdown and this ultimately would end up in decreasing the hydrogen secretion and the hydrochloric acid levels in the stomach. And this is beneficial in peptic ulcer disease treatment. Now since the mysoprostol is a prostaglandin E1 analog, this means that it also increases the mucus and bicarbonate secretion in the stomach and the mucus work to protect the stomach from the gastric acid and the bicarbonate work to neutralize the gastric acid and both of these effects work to treat the peptic ulcer disease. Now also the mysoprostol improves the mucosal blood flow leading to faster healing of the peptic ulcer disease. Now also the mysoprostol binds to the smooth muscle cells of the uterine lining leading to uterotonic effects and this effect is helpful in termination of pregnancy and it also works to promote the cervical ripening and dilation. Now let's talk about the therapeutic uses of the mysoprostol. So it is FDA approved for prevention and treatment of non-steroid anti-inflammatory drugs induced peptic ulcer disease in patients taking non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs and are at high risk of developing peptic ulcer disease. Now for this use, the proton pump inhibitors are preferred because they are better tolerated. And that is because the mysoprostol is associated with annoying abdominal cramping and diarrhea that are hard to deal with and those we will explain a little bit later. Now mysoprostol is used off-label for short-term treatment of active peptic ulcer disease caused by other factors and it is used for short-term only because of the gastrointestinal adverse effects in form of diarrhea and abdominal pain and because of the frequent dosing which is hard for patients to adhere to and the dosing is around 200 micrograms four times daily. Now also in the therapeutic uses a combination of mysoprostol 200 micrograms and mifepristone 200 milligrams is FDA approved for medical abortions up to 70 days gestation and mysoprostol alone is indicated if mifepristone is unavailable. Now why the FDA approved it for abortions 
with gestational age lesser than 70 days because of the risk of uterine rupture, which is highly increased if misoprostol is used beyond the 70 days gestation. Now, misoprostol 800 micrograms is used off-label to terminate a pregnancy in second trimester as monotherapy or combined with intramuscular methotrexate. So the misoprostol is used off-label beyond the 70 days gestation. Now misoprostol also used off-label for expectant management of missed and incomplete abortions and at much smaller doses for induction of labor and the dose for induction of labor is 25 micrograms and in treatment of postpartum hemorrhage which is treated in dose of 1000 micrograms and that is only if other uterotonic medications are not available. Now let's talk about the pharmacokinetics. So the misoprostol is available as oral formulations. It is absorbed rapidly after administration and onset of action is in 30 minutes after administration and for duration of around 3 hours. And misoprostol is a prodrug. It is metabolized into active metabolites which is the misoprostol acid and it is excreted as inactive metabolites in urine. Now let's talk about the adverse effects. So the most common adverse effects with misoprostol include diarrhea and abdominal pain secondary to exposure to the misoprostol acid released during its metabolism. Now fever and chills are also common and secondary to prostaglandin effect on the hypothalamus and other common adverse drug reactions include nausea, vomiting, constipation, dyspepsia, headache, menstrual irregularities, and menstrual breakthrough bleeding, and also lethargy, weakness, and vertigo. Now, less common adverse drug reactions include hypotension, sinus tachycardia, edema, and myocardial infarction, and the myocardial infarction is caused by the misoprostol induced vasospasm, and this especially occurs in patients with cardiovascular disease. Now also it may lead to pulmonary embolism, anaphylactic reactions, and thrombosis. Now if misoprostol is given to a pregnant woman, it may lead to fetal bradycardia and death, and it may lead to uterine contractions and pain, and the fetal bradycardia is caused by the uterine contractions. Now it also may lead to vaginal bleeding, uterine rupture, which is highest risk if given beyond the 8 weeks of gestation, and it may also lead to cervical lacerations, and it may lead to teratogenic effects because of reduced blood supply to the fetus. Finally, let's talk about the contraindications. So this medication is contraindicated in pregnant women and women in childbearing age. And if it has to be given, then serum pregnancy test should be done and it has to be negative. And also it is contraindicated in previous allergic reactions. And with that, we reach the end of this video. Thank you guys for watching. Please give us a like comment your ideas and questions, and subscribe.